when the Woodbury type process came along, it suddenly became possible to produce things that looked like photographs. And they had all the believability and the detail and the truthiness, if you will, of a real photograph, but they could be made on a press and made even more easily in even greater quantity for even less money. This process was invented in 1864 by Walter Woodbury. It's a photomechanical process that combines photography and the press that produces a continuous tone image. The Woodbury type is not made by light. It's not made by chemicals. It's molded. It's made in a mold. The mold is a sheet of lead that has depressions in the lead. Those depressions are made by something that was developed by light, a piece of gelatin where areas of the gelatin were hardened by light or left so that they would be washed away in hot water. And you ended up with this potato chip thick piece of gelatin with relief. Relief meaning you have high and low spots. This would be put against the piece of lead. It would be put into a press with the capability of pressing many, many tons of pressure and it would actually push that relief image into the sheet of lead so that when you took it apart, the lead sheet now had hills and valleys. And then we take a dollop of warm gelatin with pigment. It's not ink, it's gelatin. You put that on the mold, you slide in a piece of paper and press. And what happens is the warm gelatin with pigment is pushed into the mold against the paper, and when you release the two, you get a formed image. It's pressed, so it's actually a cast image. The mold is made with photography, but the actual image itself, we don't call a photograph. The Woodbury type produced a beautiful, seamless, poreless, precise image that really looked like a photograph. This was first used in reasonably high-end publications, but it was used to convey a sense of you are there, which is what photographs have always done. And it greatly surpassed the ability of any previous printing process to do that. <laughs>